Well, folks, it's Friday, August 13th, which means today is the day that conspiracy theorists believe Donald Trump could be reinstated as president. So I guess keep an eye on that, uh, to see if Trump is president later today. I I'm sure we're all on pins and needles <laughs> about whether that's going to happen. Uh, but here's the thing. This also marks the day that Mike Lindell's cyber symposium is officially over. Lindell had told us earlier in the week when this thing started that we're all going to wake up on the morning of Friday, the 13th and wonder what we can do about what he presented. And, uh, I'm pretty sure literally nobody is waking up actually thinking that today. One person who's definitely not thinking that is a person by the name of Joshua Merritt. Mr. Merritt happens to be Mike Lindell's leading cybersecurity expert. And he actually gave an interview to the Washington times this week where Mr. Merritt said that there is no evidence of any foreign election hacking in any of the materials that Mike Lindell has. That was the big thing about the cyber, but that was supposed to be the big reveal that China hacked the election to make Joe Biden win and Donald Trump loses. And, and, and here you have the guy, the guy that looked at all of this information, telling the Washington times, we have no evidence that says this actually happened. In fact, Merritt actually says that his team had told Lindell, you can't say this because there is no evidence at all to back up any of this. They also mentioned by the way, that those packet captures that Mike Lindell has been pushing for so long, like we've got the packet captures Merritt said, yeah, we, we really don't actually have those because as I actually explained in a video on ring of fire yesterday, if you don't do the packet capture at the time, um, most of those, uh, uh, the routers and all of that do not store those. Now you can obviously do it over a time frame, a time period, you know, maybe get it a couple hours after the facts, but months and months after it happened, that's not going to happen. And that's what Merritt confirmed. He said, we don't have them. And the things we have looked at, there is no indication at all that there was any foreign influence in this election. I honestly case closed, right? That's what should happen right now is this should totally be case closed. Lindell's own people won't stand by his ridiculous accusations about the 2020 election anymore. They're done. And so too should he be because this is ridiculous at this point. This has all been a farce. Lindell clearly knows that because his own people have been telling him this and his cyber symposium is over. Donald Trump did not get uh, reinstated as president Lindell at one point on uh, uh, Wednesday, obviously did run off the stage when he learned that a Trump appointed judge would not dismiss his, uh, the lawsuit that dominion voting systems has filed against him, which prompted him on Thursday to say that the judge was either in on the scheme or he didn't know what. Yeah. Probably not a smart idea to attack the judge. That's going to let this go forward, buddy. Uh, Mike Lindell's in a lot of trouble now. He destroyed his credibility. He was on stage all week, spreading more lies and conspiracy theories about the very company that's suing him for $1.3 billion. The guy is toast. He is toast with the people who believe him. Even Steve Bannon at one point came out during an interview on real America's voice and said, yeah, uh, why isn't he showing any evidence? He said he had evidence, but he's not showing it. People are starting to get restless. This should be the end of Mike Lindell. Nobody should ever else uh, should ever again, give him the time of day. And hopefully I never have to talk about him again, except to talk about the massive loss he suffers in court when dominion wins their 1.3 billion defamation suit against him. Hopefully that will be the next last video I ever have to do about the disgraced pillow guy.